This is part 7 of Link to XML tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss transforming one XML format to another XML format using Link to XML. In part 5 of this video series, we discuss transforming XML to CSV and in part 6, transforming XML to an HTML table. In this video, we want to transform this format of the XML to this format. So notice that here the root element is still students. Underneath that root element we have USA element. So what is this USA element? That's nothing but this country attribute now is actually turned into an element. Okay, And underneath that USA element we have all the students belonging to country USA. And then we have India element and all the students belonging to India are present underneath that element. So let's see how to convert this format of the XML to this format. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new console application to which I have already added this data.xml file which contains our student data. So within the main method, let's first create a variable of type X document. Let's call this uh, XML document equals x document dot load so we want to load student data from this data.xml file so let's open this project folder in Windows Explorer copy the path okay so this should load the XML data from the XML file into memory. So now let's create an instance of X document. Let's call it result. And within the X document, the first XML element that we want is students element. So that's going to be the root element. So new X element students and within the students root element, we want USA country element. So new X element and the name of the element is going to be country. And underneath USA element we want you know student element and all the students belonging to country USA must be present inside that USA element. Okay? So we need to read all students who belong to USA from this XML document. So we are going to write our link query here. So from S in XML document dot descendants of student element. So this descendants method is going to return all student elements, but we don't want all of them. We only want students who belong to the country USA. So we want to do some sort of filtering here. So where s dot attribute. So how do we know the students that belong to um, country USA? Notice that it depends on this country attribute value. So we need to read this attribute value. So s dot attribute, what is the name of the attribute? Country. So if the value of that attribute is equal to USA, then return those students. Okay, so that's our link query. So now what we want to do is select a new X element and the name of the X element must be student. So underneath USA element we want student element. So student and you know that student element is not going to have any attributes. So now underneath the student element we want name, gender and total marks elements. Right? So new X element name and where are we going to get the name from? From this element, right? Now, this element is actually getting the student element, but name, gender, and total marks are child elements underneath that element. So we need to get a level down. And to do that, s dot element, and the name of the element is name, and then we want the value of that element. Okay, so that should give us name element. And then we want an element for gender and total marks. So gender, total marks. 
Similarly, we need to change the names of the elements here. Gender and total marks. OK. So let's close the student element. And we need to close the country element as well. So we are done with USA students. Now we want you know, a similar section for country India. So let's copy this piece of code. And then paste it right there. So here, the country is going to be India. And from the XML document, we only want to retrieve students who belong to India. And the rest of the uh, code is not going to change in any way. So now all that is left is to close the student's root element and then the XML document itself. And then finally, we want to save the data that's present in this variable to a file. So result.save. And let's call this. So we want to save it to the same folder. So let's copy this path. And let's call this result.xml. All right. So at the moment, we don't have result.xml file within the project folder. Let's go ahead and run this. And notice that result.xml. So we have the student's root element. Underneath student's root element, we have country USA element and country India elements. Within USA, we have students belonging to USA. And within India element, we have students belonging to India. That's it. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.